Blue Ox Productions presents How to swap the pins on your OBD cable. Well, the cables I built, um, uh, I've been told that in the retro models and maybe in the M70 models that the power and ground wires are reversed on the bike. So if uh, this is your situation, you should check it first with a meter on your bike. Uh, it's an easy fix on the cable. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First of all, you're going to need to cut back the heat shrink that I put on there. And uh, be very careful not to nick any wires. The best place to do this is to start cutting by the yellow wires. These have no function. They're dummy wires. I just installed them to help strengthen the, the cable and, and the connector. The two wires you're going to be concerned with are in the middle pins. There's a, a red wire with a black stripe. Then there are two black wires that are crimped in the same pin. The two black wires are the ground wires, the red wire is the power wire, and you need to reverse those. Now probably the best way to do this is to remove the two yellow wires first, then you can kind of pull those out of the way, you remove the red and the black, swap them and push them back in, but I'm going to show you how easy this is. So once you get that uh, off, all you need is a simple paper clip. You're going to take your connector in the front and on the bottom there's a little slot and you're going to insert your paper clip and you're going to pull that little white piece out. It comes out about a quarter of an inch. That kind of unlocks things in the back. Now in the front of the connector, you see these little round holes right here? You're going to shove your paper clip right in one of those round holes of the pin you want to remove. And then you're going to firmly push back, you'll hear a click. Just like that. I don't know if you heard it in the video. And the wire should pull right out. Now, keep an eye on the orientation of the pin, because it has to go in the same way when it goes back in. Kind of set that off to the side, and then you do... Uh, the other three pins get all the wires out. I have the wires out. Um, I already put the black one back in, uh, but it's just a matter of fact of lining the pins back up and putting them back in. So I'm going to put this one back together for a retro model where I'm going to put the, the hot wire on the top middle pin and the ground wire on the bottom middle pin. And there's a little on the back side, you can see there's a little notch at the top of each hole. And if you look at your pins, about halfway down you see a little notch so what you do is start sliding your pin in and those notches you put the notch on the pin on the side that the hole has the notch on and did you hear that click that definite click and it's all put back together if you have some heat shrink you could put some heat shrink back on here let me see if you can hear the click again one more time. Definite click. And when you're done and you have them all clicked in, this should push back and it locks them in. Just like that. And you're done. If you have some heat shrink, you could have taken all the pins out and put some on or just tape that up. You should be ready to go. One thing that hasn't been verified though is the can high and the can low. Uh, the assumption is is that it's the same on the retro and the M70 model, but if it's not you can swap these two wires the orange wire is can high the blue wire is can low uh, right now The way the cable is built can high is that pin can low is that pin So if you need to swap those, but that's how you swap the power wires. You're good to go using your cable on a, a M70 or retro model, but again Check your bike first before you just go and swap the pins. Find out where positive 12 volts is on your bike. 